Hello everybody, welcome back to Forza 5. My name is Big Bill. How are y'all doing today? As I am doing good. Hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful, or I hope you guys, actually let's restart that. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. As today, I am bringing you another Forza Horizon 5 single car series video. How are y'all doing? As I am doing good. Um... I just want to quickly apologize uh, for not doing this series for two weeks. Um, very busy here lately, um, especially with the baby, um, especially um, doing other things. Uh, work schedule, um, been swapping shifts. Uh, people have been asking me if I can swap shifts with them. Um, if I get their hours, they can have my hours. Uh, you guys know what I mean, swapping shifts, like I'll work their Saturday if they work my Monday or I'll work their Friday if they work my Tuesday. You know, stuff like that. You know, a lot of places do do that. Some places do, some places don't. But anyway, um, enough being said, I do apologize once again. And we are back with the single car series video. Today, we are looking at one of my favorite cars in the game and probably one of my favorite cars in the world. And that is a 2015 Ferrari F12 TDF. Now, it is an S1 class. It is it is an 884 overall, or the number, or the rating number. Let's go over that. Um, 500,000 CR. That's how much you have to pay for this car, unless you get lucky on a super wheel spin. I think I got this on a super wheel spin. I believe it was either this or a nor normal wheel spin because I wasn't gifted a Ferrari. It's really weird. <laughs> uh, the speed rating is at 8.8, .8, handling a 7.6, acceleration a 6.5, a launch is at 7.0, braking is at 8.4, off-road is a 4.8. This is rear-wheel drive. This is a front-engine Ferrari, which you don't really hear that nowadays. But yeah, oop, I do apologize. Hopefully, it'll go back. I'm just reaching for my notes inside the mouse. That way you guys can just see the car. <laughs> uh, this is the track focused version of the F12 Burning Empty. Uh, another hard, another Ferrari that I was a very fan of, a big fan of F12 Burning Empty, which I believe that came out in 2012. Um, the name uh, TD F12 CDF, the name pays homage to the Tour de France automobile race held between 1899 or between 1899 and 1986, which was regularly won by the Ferrari 250 between 1956 and 1964, which that is one of my favorite things about Ferrari and Lamborghini is that they'll go back then to where it's not even my era where I was born. Like, I was born in 1996, and I don't even know why they call it Death Toy CDF until now. And, you know, I was looking up information about the car, and I hear, oh, it's about them racing back in the Tour de France automobile race between, you know, 1899 to 1986, which is pretty cool. And Ferrari won it, you know, between 1956 and 1964, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I think it's awesome that Ferrari and Lamborghini and other manufacturers for that even... You know, they put history in their names. They don't keep going like, oh, Ferrari F12, Burn MT 2.0. You know what I mean? Um, this is the same engine as the F12 Burn MT, the same transmission. Uh, this engine is a 6.3 liter V12 engine. Um, the transmission is a 7 speed clutch. Uh, it's the same engine, but um, the output. Uh, the power has been increased a little bit. Um, the power on F12 TDF is 769 horsepower and 520, 520 foot-pounds of torque. And it is 243, 243 pounds lighter than the F12. And the top speed is 211 miles per hour. If you guys are in Europe, it is 340 kilometers per hour. Uh, I do want to apologize. If I'm rushing, because I want to get I want to get this done for you guys. That way, you guys have a nice video out. 
So I do apologize if I do mess up here and there with my stats. Uh, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour, uh, 2.9 seconds. I do want to fix that. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. There we go. Or 62 miles per hour is uh, 2.9 seconds. And then 0 to 200, 200 kilometers per hour or 124 miles per hour is 7.9 seconds which pretty fast <laughs> now um, I did I didn't mind I only found a handful of stats here I didn't find 0 to 100 to 0 or 0 to 60 to 0 or any comparison to cars that were made that year I mean, like um, the last car I did which was the Mercedes AMG TTR but I must say, this car is definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely a looker. I definitely love this paint that I have it. Um, I do have one interesting fact. Actually, I do have a couple more here, actually. Uh, one minute. One minute. Ugh, excuse me. Approach a little dry. One minute, 21 second lap time on Ferrari's Torino test circuit. It is two seconds faster than the standard Epso Ferranetti and the Ford GTB and it is 1.3 seconds behind the fastest lap set by Phil Fari, which is no surprise there. So it's two seconds faster than a standard Bernetti and faster than a standard 488 GTB and it's only 1.3 seconds slower than Ferrari's fastest hypercar, which is the Lofari, unless they're coming out with new ones, which they are. Um, that's, that's pretty quick, especially with the Lafari, I mean, with that amount of power that car makes and how much weight it doesn't have, that's a, that's, that's pretty good. Um, they only made 799 units of this car and brand new, these cars will set you back at $621,600, which is a lot. Beautiful car, beautiful car. That's all the stats I have. I think my favorite thing is is this right here, is the engines up front. You can pop the hood, show your buddies off this beautiful, beautiful Ferrari engine with the red underneath the hood. Beautiful engine, just beautiful everything. I, I love Ferrari. I, 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 I love Ferrari. I would love to own a Ferrari. I don't think that will ever happen. But if it ever did, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Get inside here. I'll be up for you guys. I wish I could rev it a little bit more. But I can't. So we're going to shut this door. And there we go. One of my big time favorites about Ferrari is always has been with their cars is the dash lights up. I mean, you can start it back up again. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. One of my favorite things is the dash lights up, the RPM is right here, the miles per hour is right here, or kilometers per hour if you're in Europe. Um, two other gauges over here, I think these other two gauges are oil and water, I believe. I might be wrong, but a lot of people say it's battery, because I know that's the gas right here, like voltage and water pressure. One of my other favorite things about Ferrari is these steering wheels. And I'm not going to lie, I wish I had this in my Silverado. <laughs> like, you can change it to wet mode, you can change it to sport mode, you can change it to eco mode. The light buttons right here, I think that's pretty awesome. The blinker buttons are right here, it's paddle shift. Like, I don't know why, I just love it. One of my other things is all these other buttons down here.
Very cool car. Let's get out of here. Back end looks good too on this car. Front end looks gorgeous. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this car. I, I give this car 10 out of 10 any day of the week. I would drive this car like, anywhere, pretty much. <laughs> All right. So here at the auto show, if you guys want to buy. Down here. 2015 Ferrari F12 TDF. 500,000 CF. I wish they would bring the F12 burning that to back. And then right here is actually the other one that here is actually the little brother to this one. The 2017 A12 super fast. Another one of those Ferraris I love. So I will be doing definitely more Ferraris here. And I'll definitely be doing some Lamborghinis here shortly. Uh, I'm trying to put in a mix of cars. So. Sadly, no body kit. You can make this S2 class. Alright, so I love this color, but there's actually a couple other ones that I like. Obviously, the red, this red is definitely one of my favorites because of the black that goes with it. Both of these two blues are definitely two of my favorites. There we go, now I'm starting to move. Just started figuring that out. Definitely. A favorite of mine. Definitely the black. And obviously this one. Um, now the silver ones, I'm not too really keen on them. Not really keen on the white or the yellow. But now I am keen on this yellow though because it's not like full yellow and it doesn't have that red. So, but anyways, there you guys go. The 2015 Ferrari F12 TDF. Definitely one of my favorite cars in the game. Definitely one of my favorite cars in the world. Um, I love front engine Ferraris. What can I say? <laughs> um, If I had to rate this in a Ferrari category, this would probably be second. I'm not telling you what my number one is, though. That you guys have to figure out. This would probably be second. Third. Um, actually, I might watch you guys figure out my rest of my top five Ferraris. Maybe I'll do that. My top five Ferraris. There we go. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Um, I also do plan on making a playlist uh, for you guys to watch all my Forza Horizon 5 single car series videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for doing everything. And I will see you all next time. Alright guys. Bye.